Welcome everyone. This video is going to be on a heating and a lighting system uh, using uh, Tesla's pancake coil um, and uh, ZVS. I'm to try and make this one a bit quicker than some of my videos because I seem to uh, have memories of me sounding a bit like the uh, teacher from the Wonder Years show. I used to watch when I was a kid. If you're as old as me, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Um, it was a little bit monotonous, so um, I'm going to try and change that, hopefully. Uh, so we've got two 12-volt batteries connected in series, giving us 24. They're charged fully, so we'll connect that up. Uh, so we should be looking at 25 volts. And we've got the input watt meter here showing 25.6 and the circuit is consuming 9.2 watts uh, runs into a zvs a three three wire output zvs and then i've connected that to the pancake coil in a normal function normal fashion um, and so that is a wireless arrangement there um, and then I have a resonant coil which is the same coil uh, by filer one uh, that sits atop this stack I've done lots of different experiments over the years with um, you know different arrangement the coils underneath are um, same gauge wire but they're um, not uh, by filer they're just single single wire coils so that um, is wirelessly coupled when that goes on there so then that's connected to a light here 72 watt halogen light um, and then here we've got um, like a chicken uh, incubator heater um, which will get to over 300 degrees um, it'll go hotter than that but that's all I've uh, recorded because um, I'm using very small batteries here so but it it chews um, just enough power to to make the uh, demonstration possible so I'll pick those coils up and you can see as they come close to you can see the light um, what did I do there? I disconnected it. Okay, so if I try and do that again, we'll put that light on there. One day, I'll master uh, filming and doing things at the same time. So that. Um, produces a nice bright light but uh, it's not not the only reason why um, you know I like this circuit like at that um, running that 72 watt light it's so it's consuming like 55 watts roughly so now that's not the only reason why I, I feel this is a really good circuit these cameras always um, make it difficult to show you just how bright they are so maybe the light coming through my fingers uh, might make it a bit more obvious but uh, so if we take off the well, sorry we'll apply power to the um, heating element just before I do that so that's putting out um, 232 volts AC whilst running that light um, and I just might take this moment actually because I just noticed the voltage change when my hand went near I, I know a lot of people doing experiments you know, with alternative forms of energy and they're making claims that they've got certain things that um, 
you know they believe they see they see something with their eyes but you know if you're touching one of these meters whilst it's connected to the circuit as this one is then you're not going to get a true reading you need to be for this particular circuit you need to be about a foot away minimum to be sure what you see there is uh, is genuine so i mean we can see there if i put my hand on the meter itself we're looking at 330 if i get away from the circuit even just having the camera close is um is is going to be a problem so so that's that we will put this on to oh you can also make a, so i've got this homemade capacitor which is just two um sheets of aluminium foil from kitchen foil and insulated by a uh, a4 um laminating film and so i just cut up the pieces to suit and so there's two pieces in there and then i laminated the whole lot um, and so that's like a, a cheap homemade capacitor which has a pretty decent effect so i put one lead of that on there and if i tap this you can see and here um that yeah that that uh will increase the brightness that will also increase current draw uh so what are we looking at now 59 watts if we take that back off and so yeah it drops down 54 watts okay so now what we'll do is i'll put the um take that capacitor off i'll disconnect the light and now we'll put this on this little chicken incubator heater element uh, i'll just remove one of these circuit's still running so i'll try and get this done uh, as quick as i can so that the batteries don't get depleted too much but if you connect this to a larger battery system um it'll, it'll work fine okay so what we'll do is take a quick measurement on the temperature has this got a light oh okay that's not the light i thought it would be okay so that is currently reading 22 degrees 23 degrees c okay and we are pulling 10 watts with nothing connected 25.63 volts so this will chew around about the same amount oh no probably double what the light bulb does i think this is like 120 watt whereas that was 72 watt so if we connect that to there and um, we can't really see much with this one because it's just a ceramic uh, heating element so we'll just watch it on the now probably the best uh, scenario would be to connect this up to or put an element like this or any other induction element um, inside a stainless steel pot with some sand in there and you could use um, this entire system fed by solar to keep this these batteries charged up and running this element now we're consuming 90 watts so you know when when those batteries are fully charged you'd be looking around about the 100 watts um and it's a, a really efficient heater in my opinion uh so what are we at now 
150 mark. So while that's um, going, I'll just explain uh, the coil a little bit more. Um, there's a AA battery for size comparison. If I hold the camera still and you can get yourself um, a screenshot of that, you can count those rings. I can't remember exactly. I built this years ago um, when testing lots of Tesla's patents and yeah, I've had this this circuit running, um, you know, quite a few lights of these incandescent ones. I don't recommend putting the um, putting the LED lights onto a system like this. Um, I tried, they died. Um, so what are we at now? Uh, Depends on where the laser hits as the element has um, a coil inside that uh, the power you know, makes it courses its way through. So I believe that spot there is the hottest. So we're up to 250, 260. Uh, give it a couple of seconds longer and we'll double check and make sure that it hits uh, 300. But if you had um, solar power, so, you know, 12 volts on its own will not do this. You will not be able to heat up and get, you know, 300 open circuit. It's like 370 volts. So, and it's wireless as well. Um, you know, don't take your normal wireless devices anywhere near it. It'll fry them. Uh, so what are we at now? We're... 24.5 volts pulling 3.7 amps so these are a 7 amp hour battery 7.2 amp hour so that means you can pull 7.2 amps for one hour or um, one amp for 7.2 hours and so when you're pulling 3.7 that's like you know half of what those batteries uh, have so that, that'll flatten them relatively quickly um, it still sits quite stable but I, I would connect them up to like some big car batteries or something um, but yeah it's interesting to note that something can heat up uh, you know quite as much as this does so we're over 300 there now um, in such a short space and time and if that was buried that whole element was buried inside um, a stainless steel pot as I said with sand in it and or you could use a, an element from an old kettle um, electric kettle and that will power that up and it'll provide heat and that, that um, stainless steel pot full of sand will go on for hours to supply heat so yeah you can either have a, a efficient heater um you know it heats up quite quickly like if you if you just had to warm your hands up or something like that you could just you know put put your hands around that it's uh it's way too hot to touch you could probably quickly tap at it but i'll guarantee it wouldn't feel nice um and I think it's rated not to go too much hotter than that anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Or you can uh, flick it back when you're finished with the heater and, and just use lighting. So it's interesting to note, you know, the, the amount of power that it can go through. And, and it's going through this tiny, really thin wire. I've had really, really thin wire. Uh, connecting up these massive loads you know like a 500 watt load it'll run that just as bright as this is here now um, and it'll do it on on a hair thin wire all right guys well thanks for watching um, if you want to 
Uh, don't hesitate to ask any questions. I try to answer everybody's questions. If I've missed your question, I apologize. Um, I, yeah, I'm not sure how. Every now and then I'm surprised that I've missed someone's question. So um, I don't know everything, but I'll answer as much as I know. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a nice day.